here's a video that's gonna piss a lot of people off. INFJs belong to INTPs. All of you ENTPs and just everyone else in general, ENFPs included, I will personally beat up each one of you clowns. Because we all know there is one truth to the universe that is unarguable and that is actually objective. It's that INFJs belong to INTPs. I will beat up each one of your tribes. You know, whenever I see an ENTP get in it, it's like ugh, my last cousin is getting get getting the girl for our tribes, right? But whenever any other type gets one, I'm like ugh. I'm gathering energy like Goku because I'm gonna beat you up. Both try to be in some extent detached absorbers from the world. They don't want to participate in this world because it's garbage. It's honestly garbage because of so many R words that live. Censors. Blame the censors. Isn't that the easy answer? To be honest, it's all it's always kind of partially caused by us, you know? Let's let's just take personal accountability, you know? Uh but other than that, why am I why am I why am I going off topic? Because I have high any, okay? We're both very much detached observers from the world. We don't really want to participate in it. But INFJs are to some extent um slaves to the to the people you know to the feelings of other people which is very questionable you know it's like it's the one thing that would make intps question whether it would work or not it obviously would work because that's a, an obvious fact of the universe but you know it's like if he can be fake and it's like is the infj gonna be fake with me are they just gonna say something to make me happy when like the intp generally just wants honest the honest truth you know so that's one questionable thing, but it's better than if I because if I sucks, I've made a million videos on why if I sucks. By the way, you should subscribe for rent. If I sucks is horrible, it's a black hole that sucks everything out of existence. Do not be yourself. Never be yourself, right? But at the same time, we do want that honesty. So that's the one thing that's the only one thing that's questionable between the relationship. But if you look at it, ENTPs, INFJs, INFJs, you know, they just they just want to chill most of the time. And they don't want to be, they don't really want to be, like, intruded on. They don't want to be like the ENTP who's like, ah, 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 improve, any, 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 any. They kind of want that introversion. Like, INFJs honestly just belong to some kind of introversion. Like, the whole extrovert-introvert thing, it's really questionable most of the time. Like, why is everyone agreeing on this arbitrary rule? What I'm thinking more of is, like, observer-judger, you know? And, and INTPs, the, the function stack is T-I-N-E-S-I-F-E. -E, so, the, the, the strong, strength and weakness are judging functions. The double... The double functions are perceiving functions. INFJs are N I F E T I S E. So the two functions are perceiving. The double ones are are uh, judging. I think generally better the more be, best relationships are between perceivers and judges because you want someone to have the eye looking out at the world as it is, but you also want someone to be able to make. Judgments. We cast judgments. INFJs are exactly in the middle, in the center of what it means to be on the intellectual side and what it means to be on the emotional side. And INTPs are all the way there in the intellectual side. But then the INFJ comes along, INTP from there, and they combine to make a understanding a decent understanding zone of the world as it is. You know, there's, they're close enough where they would understand each other, but at the same time, they're far enough where they'd have something else to provide for the relationship that the other one doesn't have. We have complementary strength and weaknesses, as well as that my hair keeps getting more fucked every single minute of this video. If you don't subscribe for that, I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> ENTPs are way too much, are way too much into the emotional world. They're too biased. They're not the arbiters of truth. They're not the guardians of truth. They're just the agents of chaos. And them having that higher FE just like pushes them a little more into the emotional side of things. You know, they're still in the intellectual side of things, but they're way too much in the emotional side of things. Which means that, yes, there might be just some initial uh, better understanding between the INFJ and the ENTP, but the longer term 
benefits are just uh, not that good in comparison to the INTP. Now, INFJs have been historically very influential, influential in our history. If you think of our history, man with a nice mustache, man with a nice dancing song, nice really Arabic song, and he goes down, he goes down, he goes down on the towers like nobody else. He just likes to play Jenga. Or the black man who freed the blacks in South Africa. Or fucking Gandhi. Anyone, bro. Like, just think of anyone. I'm just not saying their names because it's more funny. Plus, YouTube would probably demonetize me if I said their names. But you get what I'm saying, right? Almost, like, semi-almost every single very, very important person in history has just been... Like an INFJ, right? You flip the INFJ, what do you get? An ESTP. Now look at the famous ESTPs, man. They're really fucking hated. They're really hated by the world. You know? But INFJs kind of get that uh, initial... Initial advantage, you know? Unless unless they go and be like mustache man and then they lose. Everyone's gonna like them. And so if an INTP gets that middleman to that world of emotions that INFJs masterfully master <laughs> what am I doing what the fuck am I doing what I'm doing I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing the INTP INFJ combo is so strong that it could take over the world and that is my grander scheme of things INTPs for fuck's sake get with INFJs because we have to take over this garbage world and turn it into something better because we're the only ones who are capable of understanding things for what they are. Everyone is born like a fucking robot. They're born into this metaphorical room and they're looking for something. Oh, let me find my meta keyboard, you know? And then I start walking and I don't know that like my fucking PC is in front of my meta key, keyboard. And then I fall over, trip and kill myself. This is how the world works because everyone is a robot and they're only, they're only willing to see what they want to see. And it's garbage. And if you want to have someone control the world, they better fucking want to go to the fucking light switch, click on it and see the world for what it is so they can actually manage it because otherwise... Other, otherwise, they're only going to be good at managing what they want to manage. You know? And INTPs, INTPs want to turn the light switch on. They want to see, they want to see everything. Whether it matters or doesn't matter, everything matters. Everything is in relation to each other and everything affects each other. And we also understand what we can control and we don't control. And what actually happens, what will happen and what actually won't happen. And we understand what we don't know. Most people do not know what they don't know. No, they don't care to know what they don't know. They, they don't care to know what isn't controllable and what is controllable. But we do. We do. And this is why every INTP's mission should be as the guardian of truth to guard it, to protect it and to fight for it. Because everyone else is shitting on it. The truth is the foundation of everything and nobody cares about it. Nobody cares about it. And this is the INTP's mission. And INFJs. INFJs, they want, just want to have a better world. They just want to have a better vision. And the INTP-INFJ combination is one good enough to actually affect things. The INTP, you're fucking... You're so, so, so much into like just turning that light switch on that you kind of also are like ignoring who's going to stop you from turning that light switch on, you know? You're kind of a robot in the least extent, you know? You're less of a robot than everyone else, but you're still, you still have your own weaknesses and the INFJ will be there to comp compensate for it. The INFJ understands people and they know how to get what they want from people and they know how to affect the world. And if a mission statement is one that is shared by an INTP and an INFJ, then they could really change the world as it is together. It's why we should be together. Now, this doesn't mean that, that all everything will be true. There's exceptions to every rule. You know, you need, you need some kind of healthy perspective from both in order to get anything done in any kind of relationship. And that doesn't mean that every INTP will ever work with every INFJ ever. And that doesn't mean that every one of them will be successful. But this does mean that we're pretty good fucking combo for what it is. And we're the most important combo. We're, it's our calling. 
It's our time now to actually change the world as it is. Most INTPs, what the fuck are they doing? And what the fuck are most INFJs doing? They're just fucking working for some shit company that doesn't require a lot of hours just so they can think in their own fucking boat in the middle of the ocean. But really think about it. Is that what you want to live? You just want to fucking... Do you just really want to live a meaningless life? Is that what you want? Do you, do you, like, why don't you just end it, right? If, if your life is going to end up changing the world as much as it would have if, you just, if it just ended, then why did you even live it? You know, if, if you die and nothing has changed because of your existing, nothing of importance has changed because of your existence, then it would be equivalent to you just dying because nothing would have changed because of your lack of existence. You must give a reason to justify your existence. Otherwise, why? Otherwise, why are you doing it? And this is how you manifest what is in your brain outside to the world. Nobody will understand you. Nothing will be easier. You will, you will not be allowed to be yourself and you shouldn't be yourself. And the world will never understand you and the world's current is always going to be going in the opposite direction to both the INFJ and the INTP. We're the only ones who are capable of changing it. Because everyone else is a robot. Even ENTJs. ENTJs are like, ooh, shiny thing. Let me get those toys. Let me, let me get this mission. Boom, 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 boom. No, you're a robot. You're just the best robot out there, but you're still a robot. And so INTPs, and even ISTPs too, to a various extent, we're like the only humans on this earth. Everyone else is not a human. Everyone else is a robot. We're the only ones with vision. Everyone else is just blind. And we have to make everyone open their eyes. And when you open someone's eyes to your light, it's going to hurt them and they're not going to want it. But they have to go through that. And you're the only one who's going to wake up. The world is like your child and you have to wake up your child even if he doesn't like the light. Otherwise, he'd just die in his sleep. And you keep letting your children die in their sleep. You want to actually go fight for them? Or you just want to fail? Do you want to matter or do you want to not? So this is why INFJs and INTPs have to combine. To make the world a bit more human.